Hi, my name is Joanna Langford. I'm a physical therapist at Levine Cancer Institute, and we are going to go through some basic transfers. So, getting on and off the couch into a wheelchair, same techniques could be used on and off of the bed, getting it into a wheelchair. Um, these are going to depend on how much the patient can do, and this is Tom. He's our patient for the day. Um, with everything, again, these are just kind of a brief overview, basic transfers, but if you need further education or have questions, feel free to get a referral um, for physical therapy. We can go more in depth and do further education. With all of the transfers, a big thing as far as the patient is concerned, you don't want to pull on the shoulder, um, want to lift like at the hips. I do already have a gate belt one time, so I'll be using that to help. Um, and another thing as far as the caregiver is bracing your core to make sure you don't um, break your back. So again, we'll go through a couple. So one is just a standing, if he's able to stand on his, or stand pretty well, he could just stand here. Again, I've got the gate belt in the back. I'm bending my knees, I'm not leaning forward to hurt my back and then he can push up, there we go, and then turn, reach back, and have a seat. Okay. Um, also don't want the patient pulling on the caregiver or the person, person doing the transfers. So if they can push up from wherever they're standing from and kind of reach to where they're going. So we'll do the same thing, just coming back over. Oh, also, if you do have a wheelchair, making sure that the brakes are locked before they get in or out of the wheelchair and get the leg rest out of the way, just flip that up if you want to to get it out of the way a little bit better. Again, here, or I can, so I did it from the side, I can also come in front, bending my knees, using the gate belt, he's pushing up from the chair, standing up, and just So then another one, if the patient isn't able to stand all the way up, needs a little more assistance, we can do what's called like a squat pivot transfer. So this time I'm gonna get in a little bit closer, um, and he's not gonna fully stand. I can also either support one knee with my legs here, or I can kind of go around both knees, depending on the height of the caregiver and the height of the patient can determine that. Um, so I'm just gonna go around one knee, and here we can actually, oh, also kind of rewinding a little bit, if they are on the couch, kind of making sure that they scoot towards the edge of the couch before you start, um, and getting, also scooting kind of as close to the chair as possible. So I'm going to see if he can go ahead and reach this hand to the other side of the wheelchair and that can kind of just help guide his hips. And then I'll get in here on the count of three. I'm kind of bracing this one knee, bending at my knees, not using my back. Count of three. One, two, three. Nice. All right. That's it for these transfers. Again, let us know if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us online, send us an email, or give us a call. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are released. And most of all, be well.